Well, here we are for the final stage of the Sam Miranda Tour of the King Valley. It's over 88 kilometres. There are two intermediate sprints and two King of the Mountain climbs. The last of those climbs coming 18 kilometres from the finish, so it may be somewhat of a launching pad for anyone trying to go for the stage victory. The overall situation sees Patrick Bevan with a commanding 38 second lead over Callum Scottson and 49 seconds back to Raphael Freinstein. So at the moment, Bevan and his Avanti team are in a very strong position, but don't expect the other teams to just lay down and let him have it. Bevan's pretty clear at the moment, I think. Uh, not too worried about him, I think he's got it sewn up. And then it's one seconds to Freinstein behind me and then uh, 19 seconds to Ben Hill. For the young rider, I think it's 30, 40 seconds to Dan Fitter. So it'll be really charter, the ones we've got to watch today. As expected, it was a fast start to the stage, as they always are in the Super National Road Series, and the attacks were coming thick and fast. Lots of riders were looking to go on the attack, but the Avanti racing team just came to the front of the peloton and shut everything down. As they headed towards the first of the intermediate sprints, 14 kilometres into the race, it was Toby Orchard from AMR Renault that took up the points, ahead of Raf Freinstein from Charter Mason, and then Paddy Bevan from Avanti was third. Immediately after that first intermediate sprint, the peloton was motoring down the road, averaging around 50 kilometres per hour, when a touch of wheels saw all hell broke loose and a mass pile-up, including two motorbikes. Just a small touch of wheels, as they say, and it, um, yeah, it came down just in front of me, and I managed to sneak past on the left, but those noises of carbon cracking and smashing, it's pretty, pretty daunting and a uh, bit of a scary noise. It was a frantic scene with riders piling on top of each other, and amongst the carnage, we saw Jackson Carmen from Mobius Future Racing seriously hurt. Also, Michael Troy from GPS Stultz and Todd Bushell from Victoria were two more riders that seemed worse for wear. Sadly, it was on a big straight piece of road, so obviously there's some inattention there that, that's caused an accident, which uh, yeah, you don't want to see. It's just chaos when you see the field of that size split into the pieces it was. So I uh, really do hope all those guys are OK and uh, are back racing soon. And it wasn't just bodies that were damaged. Fraser Goff was one of the riders who had a bike snapped in half. The race was immediately neutralised and as the mopping up the riders continued, the race organisation had to make a decision. We're going to have to make the stage null and void, um, so the race is off. Uh, placings will stand on yesterday, um, just due to we don't have the medical services available, we'll still be delayed for a long period of time. Uh, we know there's a lot of riders that have got flights and, and travel arrangements that they have to meet. Uh, so we think it's in the best interest for everyone that uh, the race finishes as it was yesterday's standings. With so much medical being uh, used up here, we can't continue the race without having medical support for it. Yeah, look, it's pretty shattering to um, have such a great weekend racing end in a, a situation such as it has. Uh, but obviously we've got to look after the rider's safety. Uh, we can't run a race without medical on the course and obviously the time delays will just exacerbate with the police and, and the road closures. So we obviously need to look after um, everyone's interests. As the peloton made their way back to the San Miranda winery, it was a sombre Pat Bevan that claimed the overall victory. Not a great way to, to finish the last stage with a, with a crash of that size. Um, at the end of the day, uh, it's about rider safety. If they can't carry on the race safely, well, that's the end of the race. So not the way you want to win, but uh, at the end of the day, that, that's the result and uh, that, that's the end of it. Coming away with the overall victory of the Sam Miranda Tour of the King Valley was Patrick Bevan from Avanti Racing, ahead of young gun Callum Scottson from the South Australian Sports Institute and Charter Mason's Raphael Freinstein. Bevan extends his overall lead in the Subaru National Road Series ahead of Michael Schweitzer from African Wildlife Safaris and Raphael Freinstein from Charter Mason.